Hey guys, Scott and Nate here from PlayerCourt.com. I'm Scott, you're Nate. Hey guys, Scott and Nate here from PlayerCourt.com. <laughs> Today we're going to talk about the short ball and we're going to stop missing them once and for all. All right, guys, today we're talking about those easy short balls that we're missing time after time. We're going to help you fix it once and for all. This video is for players of the player court rating of 80 and below. If you're not in our community or familiar with our rating system, then shame on you. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. It's okay. If you're not in our community or familiar with our rating system, a player court 80 is the equivalent of about a USTA 4.5. So, Nate, talk to me, my man here. We're missing these easy, just sitting short balls. Yeah, there's, there's actually we, like a simple fix here. We've all been there, right? Like you're, you're, you get that big juicy ball in the middle of the court, right? And a critical point and you drop it in the bottom of the net or you hit it long. And right? then if you're me, you lose the next 15 points because you're so frustrated. Can't stop thinking yeah. about it, right? But we're, today we're gonna talk about how you can fix this and you'll never ever miss another short ball again. Forever? Forever, ever. Forever, ever. All right, so what you're doing out there is there's a couple critical mistakes. We see that the ball's short and that we're, we're, we're over prepping the rocket. The rocket swing is getting too big. All right, so maybe the footwork is good, but the swing is getting away from you because remember, if the ball's going relatively short, there's not a lot of pace. And it's hard to produce pace on a ball that's hit really, really soft. All right, and the second major one, and probably the one that's the culprit for a lot of people out there, is you're getting off the line late. You're not getting the feet going, all right? And so when you get there, you're over swinging the hand. So what happens like slow feet, fast hands? That's the mistake. So what we're gonna talk to you about, to, what we're gonna talk about today is reversing that and thinking about fast feet, slow hands. Say it with me out there. Fast, fast feet, feet, slow, slow hands. hands. All right, so let's jump in a little demo. We're gonna show you what we're doing. All right, guys, so Scott's gonna feed me a nice juicy floater in the middle of the court, and I'm gonna show you the wrong way. One of the culprits is breaking down on this short ball, and what you're gonna see is I'm moving to the ball, my swing is gonna get really big, and it's gonna break down my contact. The contact will be poor. Let's take a look at what that looks like now. All right guys, so you can see as I'm moving up to that ball, that swing is just getting massive. All right, and it's really hard to time the contact. I just end up jammed up and I end up hooking it wide. And this is an error that we're, that we're making quite a bit. The next one that we're gonna talk about is a little bit different, okay? So that one, the same thing, the footwork was good, but the swing was bad. This one is gonna be really about the footwork. Scott's gonna give me a shorter ball. It's not gonna be quite as high, but I'm, I'm gonna prep first. You're gonna see my rocket prep, which is fine, but I'm not gonna get moving, okay? So then by the time I get to this ball, I've essentially erased all the prep and the anticipation because now I'm frantically trying to get to the ball and that creates a separate mistake all in itself. Let's take a look at what that looks like now. So there guys, you can see the prep, the unit turn, all that stuff was fine, but I'm so late moving to the ball that it all gets erased because I'm frantically just trying to play the ball, but the swing still stays big. It frantically tries to catch up to the ball and I just don't calculate the contact. As you can see, I hit into the net. All right, so now we're gonna take a look at what the right way is. All right, and I'm, you're still gonna see the unit turn, but you're gonna see fast feet and slow hands. I'm gonna really make sure this racket doesn't get too far behind me. I'm gonna still do the unit turn, but I'm gonna use the momentum to work out to the contact and swing it out in front. And the targeting is gonna be a little bit more important. I'm gonna have a whole lot more accuracy. Let's take a look at what that looks like now. All right, Nate, so the takeaway for me there is it's just a combination of making sure doing the right thing with both your hands and your feet, right? Like I see too many students are way too fast with their hands, they're way too slow with their hands. Maybe their hands are perfect, but they're way too fast with their feet or they're way too slow with their feet. We gotta get this thing just right, yeah? Yeah, and you're really better off 
if you're gonna be speed up, it's gotta be the feet, right? Because you get there too fast, you can make these adjustment steps and work around the ball, all right? But if you're take off late, then it's just panic movement, and it's gonna break down. And then the big culprit, especially for juniors and some of you big hitters out there, you're just losing control of how big the take back is of the racket. You still need to keep it fairly controlled. This is more about contact and getting the power to target and everything else is, as far as is finishing the point. This isn't a, you, don't have to kill an ant with a sledgehammer here, right? So a, a good 70% ball is gonna finish the point. 90 is just total overkill. For sure, that's great advice. And guys, remember this instruction obviously is for a very specific level of player. If you're a really high level player, we're gonna have some more sophisticated tips for how to improve your approach shots and your short balls. But do us a favor, we don't know a ton about you and your specific skill level. If we did, we could send you some more custom videos based on the things you've got going on. So do us a favor, click the button or the link below, answer a couple questions for us, and we'll actually send you some custom video coaching based on the things that you've got going on. Just click the button or the link below and Nate and I will do the rest.